Hi, welcome to our group one and this um, exercise class while Auckland is in another COVID lockdown. I'm Jilly Davey and I am the founder of MS Good Head Start, our international um, MS program and also the owner and director of Connect Neurophysiotherapy, the clinic here in Auckland. So thank you very much for joining us. I'm just going to share my screen with you guys for a moment, just to go through a few bits of the details. Okay, so um, we're starting obviously 10.30 on a Wednesday, so that is today, Wednesday the 19th of August, and we'll be repeating this again next Wednesday. So this is group one, so you need to be able enough to get on and off the ground easily, and um, so this is for our more mobile, kind of less physically impaired individuals with MS, and then we've got a more, we've got a chair-based session on Friday for our group two or level two individuals whose mobility may be more limited or spending a little bit more time in a wheelchair etc so make sure you've got a clear space around you have some cold water handy because this is going to be some hard work and as in the picture there you're going to need to have a sturdy chair and somewhere on the floor ideally an exercise mat if you've got one but if not pop a couple of layers of towel down okay as well um, now, these sessions will be recorded and um, will be available through the MS Get a Head Start website, um, website page on the news page. And the sessions are very kindly being funded by MS Auckland, so they'll be also um, available through MS Auckland. So if you're joining us live and um, you don't want your video to be recorded, you know, a view of yourself, or you don't want your name to be shown, then please um, stop video and change the name of your um, change the name of your setting if you want to. Everyone will be muted until the end of the class and we will then have the opportunity to ask some questions. And this is just to ensure that you can focus on me and not um, get distracted by other bits and pieces. So again, really please ensure you are safe to perform each of these exercises. Um, you know, I'm not there, I haven't been able to do health and safety check on each of you individually or who may be watching this as a recorded version. So please make sure you are safe to perform these exercises. So I'll demonstrate each exercise first, okay, so you can come nice and close to your screen, see what I'm going to say, see the positions I get in. I will then give you time to get yourself set up, okay, we're going to perform each exercise for 30 seconds and we're going to then have a 30 second rest and we're going to do each exercise three times. And there'll be varying levels of difficulty as well for each exercise and I'll talk you through that each time before we move on to the next. So as I mentioned, these will be recorded. You can feel free to communicate through the chat function as well. And um, we look forward to seeing you for our next live session or the fact that you can use this recording um, as much as you want. All right, so we're gonna start with a warm up. Okay, so we need a bit of space for this. Okay, I just adjust this down. So just in a nice little standing space. If you can see me well, I can't take myself off the screen yet. Okay, so let's just start with a marching on the spot, swinging those arms forwards and backwards. So just marching along and to turn to the sides and the feet to the side. This is good. Okay, we're going to turn to kick the heels up to your bottom. And that's it. So kicking those heels up to your bottom, this is waking up those hamstrings. Okay. Now, make a fist and we're going to box with the opposite hand, okay, going across. Your body. So as you're picking those heels up, you're boxing across. So turn that into a march and a box at the same time. Let's see if we can up the tempo a little bit. Nice high lift. That's it. Really get it going. Good. Okay, we'll take it nice and wide and we're just going to do some squats. See if we can kind of touch the ground and then come up into a nice big star. Okay, getting that bum going down nice and low. Just warming up all the joints and our muscles just to get us ready for a little bit of movement. Okay, and now let's roll those wrists and see if you can roll a foot as well. Roll an ankle, look at it to the screen. If you need to be holding on to do so, do that. Okay, give everything a bit of a limber up. Okay, a little bit of a side bends. Okay, and we'll get going.
I'm just going to get myself in position. So our first exercise is going to be squats. So you need to set yourself up with your sturdy chair. So with our squats, okay, you might want a chair or the sofa or something similar behind you. That arms can either be together, cross your chest, okay, holding, and you're going to squat down, come back up. Now the important thing about squats, do not allow those knees to drop in. Do not allow one knee to drop in. Those knees need to stay as wide as your feet and your feet are slightly wider than your shoulders. Also, I don't want you to perform just a knee bend. A knee bend is just this action. That's going to hurt your knees, okay? I want you to perform a squat, which is pushing your bottom out. This is why you've got the chair behind you, so that you're working on pushing those glutes out and your hands can help counterbalance you. Each time you come up, make sure you tuck your tailbone underneath you to squeeze that bum. Now we are aiming for you to get puffing and panting out of breath, okay? So the aim of this is, I'm just going to tilt my screen up a little bit so I'm not fully decapitated, there we go, um, that you get puffing and panting. So I want you to really put a bit of effort into this. I'm going to use um, a advanced timer to keep us going on time so that you know I'm not cheating by making you work any harder or less. All right, so we're going in three, two, one, off we go. So nice and fast with these squats, keeping an eye on those knees. Okay, if you can just brush your bottom on the chair, zoom straight back up again, that's excellent. All right, that's 15 seconds, we're halfway. All right, let's go. Let's really push. That's it, up and down. This is excellent. God, we've got a few more seconds. And stop there. Woo. All right, we've got 30 seconds of recovery. Okay, just walk those legs out a little bit. So, squats, really functional. It helps build quad, glute, hamstring strength. Really helpful getting you out of chairs, out of the car, up and down the stairs. So a really important one to do. Okay, we're going again in five seconds time. Okay, ready? And let's go. And let's go now. There we go, I had to wait for the whistle. <laughs> Too keen. Okay, up and down team, let's go. How fast can you bring that in? This is excellent. Going up and down. Push that bottom right out. Can you go a little lower? Can you go a little quicker? We've got 10 seconds to go. 30 seconds is a long time at times. Good, keep going. Whew. All right, give that a little shake out. Oh, I got stuck in that mat then. Okay, so we've got 30 seconds rest. So. To help with our strengthening and to help prevent neuromuscular fatigue, we rest for exactly the same amount of time that we exercise. Okay. All right, so we're going again in 10 seconds. So get your feet nice and wide. Okay, and we're getting ready. Ready for our whistle this time. Off we go, that's it, nice and quick. Drop that bun, see if you can do a few more extras than last time. That means you've got to go a little quicker. Don't cheat by not going so high though. Make sure you're dropping that bottom each time. This is excellent, keep it going. We've got five more seconds. Woo, that is first exercise done. We've got nine to go. So we're now gonna sit down. So, this is a dorsiflexion exercise. I'm just going to tilt the screen a little bit so you can see my feet a wee bit better. Okay. So, sitting on the edge of the chair, okay, you can have your um, pelvic floor turned on. Feet forwards a little bit so they're underneath your knees, not back behind. And you're going to lift your right toes and then your left toes. And we're going to tap these feet as fast as we can. So I really want to see if you can get some downward pressure on the feet as well as fast up. I'll just do this from the side, okay, so that you can see my angles of my feet. 
So as I say, your feet are back here, that's gonna to be too difficult to lift. You need to have your feet underneath your knees and we're coming up and down. Seems easy, but trust me, 30 seconds of speed gonna really work those dorsal flexors. All right, we'll get our timer going. All right, we're going in three, two, one. Off we go. So really fast feet. Keep your shoulders up tall. Think about turning on that pelvic floor so you're not slumping in the back of that chair. Good. Fast feet. Let's go. Tack, tack. How high can you pull those toes up? Oh, we've got five more seconds. Okay, to give them a little stretch, just pop your toes back behind you, drop one leg and do the other side. Now, you might not have much movement on one foot, okay? If you've got a bit of foot drop going on, you might have a very weak or tight back of your calf and weak front. Even if it doesn't move, if you're thinking about moving it, you are sending messages down to it and that's a positive, okay? So it doesn't have to move to still get the benefit. You just gotta think about it. So off we go again. So really focus. Try and do this nice and quickly. This is the real speed, tiny one. Try and aim for it to be even between the feet. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, I've gone a bit out of coordination. I can feel that my feet are struggling. Go on, keep it going. We've got five more seconds. Oh. It's harder than it looks, that one. Again, just give those toes a little bit of a stretch out behind you. Okay, you can do a little bit of an ankle roll. Okay, so the last 30 seconds, I know this is gonna be hard on my dorsal flexors. Okay, so it's called tibialis anterior, that muscle up the front. Okay, TA, your dorsal flexors. All right, we're going in five seconds time. So up nice and tall, core muscles, pelvic floor turned on. And let's go. Keep that tempo going. Nice, fast feet. Up, down, up, down. So we've got 20 seconds to go. Good, four, keep going. We've got 10 more. I'm slowing down. Okay, try and keep it going, team. Five more. Woo! those toes a little stretch. So a simple one, but a good easy. You can easily do this underneath the kitchen table. You can do that one when that work. All right, we're now going down to the floor. So, onto the floor. Again, if you just want to come close to the, the screen and just watch me to start with, and I'll show you what all the levels are, okay, and then you can go and get into position. Just to start with, head down, back flat, your heels are going to be up as close as where your fingertips are. So I don't want any feet out here, okay? I want heels right up close to your fingertips. But also, if I just turn around, okay, I want to make sure that those knees are in line with your hips and your feet. So I don't want the knees together, I don't want them really wide or one leg dropping in. Okay, so think about your form. Okay, so to start with a basic bridge is not just to stick your hips up in the air, okay? That's a back extension. A bridge, I want you to pull up your pelvic floor muscles, okay? And you're gonna push your lower back into the ground, and I want you to feel your front hip bones coming closer to your rib cage, and you're peeling one vertebrae off the ground at a time. So you're really peeling your tailbone up off the ground, Big squeeze of the glutes into this position, core really turned on, and then really rolling one vertebrae at a time back down. So this is level one, and I would encourage everyone to do level one to start with for the first round, just make sure that they're engaging correctly. But I will just demonstrate what level two and level three would look like. So level two, the same squeeze, roll up, and what you're gonna do is then lift one foot just an inch off the floor. You're going to walk about four times 
okay? And then you're gonna roll it back down. So that's level two. Ideally, your arms are out of the picture and you're staying nice and stable. And we're gonna roll it back down. Level three, same roll back up, but this time leg is out straight and we're gonna go up and down on one leg three times, okay? And then you change legs, okay? And go up and down three times on the other leg, okay? So you've got three versions. I do encourage most people to start with level one just so that the first set, we can ensure that you're really engaging your glutes correctly. Okay, so we're going in a few seconds time. Off we go. So up and down. So keeping it at a nice tempo, okay? So it's not a race. It's more about getting the form right. Make sure you're not cheating with the arms. If you need to cross those arms over your chest or put them behind your head to make sure you're not stabilizing or pushing through your arms. You should feel like you're pushing through your heels, okay? That those toes are nice and light. Good. It's quite handy if I talk lots, 30 seconds goes really far, pretty quickly, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so if level one is for you, carry on at level one for the next couple of rounds. Okay, if you can, come and join me at level two. We're gonna do level two together. Okay, we're gonna be going in 10 seconds time. So if you're able to, we'll see if we can do a little bit more. So level one, carry on. Level two, curl up. And we're gonna go walk, two, three, four, and curl down. Curl up, one, two, three, four, and curl down. And up, one, two, three, four, and down. Good, keep that going. So you get one more in. Good, excellent. All right, give that a little bit of a, a stretch out if we need to, guys. Okay, you can just take your knees a little bit from side to side. Okay, just make sure you're not going to hit anything. Okay, so I'm going to now go on and do level three. So if anyone can come and join me or is already at level three. Otherwise, see if you can carry on with level one or level two. Okay, we're going to be going in a few seconds. So get ready. All right, up we go. So level three, straight leg, and we're going to go down. Still try and get the roll with level three. Okay, so we're going to do three lifts, and then we change lifts. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, and change lifts. That is the bridging done. All right, we're going to stay on the ground and we're going to do side planks. Okay, so there's a couple of different versions to side planks. Okay, so version one, okay, on your side, I want you to be on your weakest side first because we're going to do three of these. It means that we work your weakest side twice, which is obviously beneficial because we'll get stronger quicker. So make sure your elbow is directly underneath your shoulder. It's not too far out in front here, okay? Now, level one, feet on top of each other, heels to bum, but knees back a little bit. So it's a reasonably straight angle here, i.e. your knees aren't up here in front of you. Use your hand as needed. You are going to, when the timer starts, push yourself up to create a straight line balancing on your elbow and knees only. This is a plank hold. Now, for some of you, holding this just for a couple of seconds is going to be hard work, okay? So if that's the case, just hold it for as long as you can and then drop back down. And within the 30 seconds, just try and come up as many times as you can. If you can hold it for the whole 30 seconds, that is fantastic. Now, if that is easy for you, okay, or you're quite good, Let's start with straight legs, so that's feet on top of each other, coming up to balance on the side of your feet and your arms. And you might hold this for as long as you can, 
And then if you get tired, you can then come and join us back on your knees. Okay? So I'm going to start the first round on my knees in level one. And then the second round, I will go carry on and show you again level two. So getting yourself down on the ground ready. Okay. And we're going in five seconds time. So feet up behind you. Okay. And lifting those hips up nicely into the air. Okay. Just check that the elbow is right underneath your shoulder. And you're trying to squeeze it up in. Try and make sure your shoulders are back. Okay, so you haven't rolled forwards. And you're aiming to push your hips forward towards the screen as well as up in the air. Got 10 seconds to go on this side. If you've managed to hold it for the whole 30, awesome. Five to go. Beautiful. So we're going to change sides. You can either just switch it around like me. Okay, you can face the other way depending on your set. So I'm going to go into level two this time. Okay, so you can stay on level one. And as I say, even if you can only hold it for a couple of seconds, that's great. You're really working that side. This what side plank is really influential on your ability to walk well. Okay, so we're going in a couple of seconds. So let's go up. Check that elbows under your shoulder. Bring those shoulders back. Okay, hips up in the air. Try to keep breathing, okay? There's always a good start with your exercises, okay? A little bit of variation here. You can lift a hand up into the air if you like. Okay, I'll bring it down, but really aim to keep these hips pointing up to the ceiling. We've got five seconds. Beautiful, all right, back onto your weaker side. As I mentioned, if you can't do these, good one to practice because they're really influential on your ability to walk well, okay? Side plank is getting that whole stance leg stability. Okay, we've got 10 seconds. This is the last 30 seconds of side plank you need to do. And then that'll be four exercises down. All right, up we go. Okay, so we're holding it here. If you're on level one, that's great. Just hold it with us as long as you can. Level two, awesome. If you're at level two and then need to drop to your knees, that's all good. Okay, we're halfway, 15 seconds. Okay, bring a big high five for everyone. 10 to go. If you want to get really creative, see if you can lift a leg as well. This is the ultimate last few seconds. Woo! Well done. All right, we're coming up into standing to do a balance exercise. You will need to have your chair or some support with you. Uh, have a drink of water as well, guys. I'm just going to come and change our screen angle a little bit. Okay, so standing to standing. You're going to put your weakest leg as your back leg and your heel is touching your toes. So I'm exactly on a tightrope. You've got something to hold on to either in front of you or to one side. Okay, so that's your balance. Level one is you're just trying to hold it here without holding on to anything. Okay, so that's level one. That's pretty challenging itself. Level two is you're going to turn your head from side to side. Now, if you are really fancy at these, you could do level three, which is close your eyes and turn your head from side to side, which is very wobbly. Okay? So, pick again whichever level you want to to start with. We're going to do 30 seconds so you can explore all three levels if you want. Okay? So, I will start just facing this way. And start my right leg there. So this is your hold. Okay, level one is a static hold. Now make sure you squeeze your glutes. Okay, so don't really want any squidgy bums here. I want you to squeeze your bum forward, tuck that tailbone underneath you, shoulders back, head up nice and tall. Everything's turned on. Okay, so you're working hard to hold this balanced posture. Last couple of seconds. Beautiful, excellent. So now you're going to change legs. So the other leg is going back behind. 
Okay, so I'm going to do level two this time. So level two, same stance, same posture, but eyes open, head turn. Okay, so see if you can challenge yourself a little bit more, but do make sure you're safe. Make sure you've got something for some support. We're going in five seconds. Off we go. So I'm doing eyes open, head turns. So again, work on squeezing your glutes. Okay, shoulders back. Even work on pulling up your pelvic floor. Okay, try and engage, but also try to breathe. Okay, pretty important breathing. So in through the nose, out through the mouth. Excellent, well done. So last round. Okay, so see if you can challenge yourself a little bit more with either turning the head or trying to join me now in level three, which is going to be head turns with eyes closed. So you're back to your weak leg as your back leg. Okay, we're going in 10 seconds time. Okay, so get yourself all lined up. We're going to go off the whistle. All right. So, see if you can do your head turns with your eyes closed. Oh, there's me having a bit of a wobble. If you have a wobble, go back to eyes open and then have another go at trying to close your eyes. Whoop. And I can demonstrate that level three with your eyes closed is very challenging. Well done guys, that was our balanced one. Now we are back onto the ground, okay, for bicycle crunch. Okay, so grab a drink if needed. Let me just come and drop the screen again, just so you can see me well. Okay, so bicycle crunch, we've got two levels for bicycle crunch. So, we're gonna be flat on our backs, okay, legs out long, fingertips are gonna to come towards your ears, okay, side of your head, but they're not holding your head, okay, they're just touching the side. One leg stays down, one leg comes up, opposite elbow twists over to touch it, so I roll my top half to make it to reach the knee, then I roll back and I change legs, so I'm really rotating my top half, okay, so this is level one, when the leg gets to rest. Level two, is the leg floats up behind, off the ground, out nice and long. So this is level two, working the core much more. So, choose which level you want to start with. We've got 30 seconds, okay, three sets. So even if you start with the harder level and feel like then you have to drop back, that's all good. We'll start with level one if we need to. So this is level one again. Leg stays down, and we're going opposite knee to elbow. Opposite elbow comes across to me. This is excellent. Okay, once you've got this going, see if you can pop it into a level two. We've got five seconds to go. Excellent, well done. Lie down nice and straight, point the toes down, put those arms up above your head. Let's have a take a nice couple of deep breaths, okay? So, again with the level of guys, feel that you're challenging yourself, okay? But don't make it impossible, okay? So try and choose a level that works for you. But even if you start at a harder level and then drop down. So we're going, getting ready. Off we go, so we've got our level one. Okay, we've got our level two. Good, we're really trying to extend that leg out long, get lots of rotation. We've got that five seconds. Excellent, and again, Nice big stretch out. We've got one more of these. Okay, 
Nice deep breaths. That's a good thing. Okay. Should be feeling a bit of burn in the core muscles now. Okay, this is definitely a really good core one. And you'll know that probably one leg isn't coming up quite as well as the other. So try and give that an extra squeeze in this last round. Okay, getting ready. Off we go. Last round of bicycle crunch. Good, sending those legs out straight, getting lots of rotation in the top part of the body. We've got 15 seconds to go. Well done, awesome, all right. We are back up onto our feet with the chair for this one. We're into calf raises. Okay, so up we come. Okay, there we go. And what we're going to do here is a one leg calf raise. So your fingertips are on something to keep you stable. Now that could be a wall, it could be the back of the chair. You're going to stand on one leg. Again, you're going to work your weakest leg first. And what you're going to do is push up onto your tiptoes and then back down. So we're going up quickly, slowly down. Up and then down. And you're going to try and keep your non-working leg up for the whole of the 30 seconds. And try not to push through your arms too much. Okay, if you're super good, and you want to do this hanging off the back of the step and you've got some stairs at home, feel free to go and do that. So we're going in three seconds. We're going up and down on this weaker leg. So this one's going to be quite a power one, team. So I want you to really try and go through the full range as quick as you can. So right up, see if you can get an extra squeeze at the top and then down and then straight back up again. So real calf burner. Okay, we've got 10 seconds to go. Good, stop there. Just give that one a little bit of an ankle roll. Okay, just stretch that out. Actually, what you can do is take that leg you just worked, take it back behind with a bit of a lunge step just to stretch out that calf. Okay, so we're going to be swapping legs now. Okay, so getting ready onto your other leg. So standing up, nice and tall. Glutes turned on, shoulders back. Up we go. So make sure when you push up on your calf that you're not leaning forward. You should just be going straight up and down. I can lean, not on purpose, but line myself up by the looks of it with a nice white line above my head. So you can see that I'm going up and down the white line. I'm not pushing myself forwards away from that white line. That was good positioning, wasn't it, with the line? Excellent. Ooh. Now take that leg, you just work back into a lunge. Okay, just stretch that out there. So we're going to go back to your weaker leg. We've got two exercises left after this round, okay? Only nine, no, so it's like seven more, 30 seconds. Okay, getting ready. So onto your weaker leg. And up and down we go, nice and quick. So up and down we go. Good. Last few seconds. Keep going, guys. This will be a bit of a burner. Good. Well done. Give that a little bit of a wriggle out. Grab a drink of water. Now, this one is not a difficult one, but it's a little bit tricky to understand, so bear with me. You are going to do this one in standing with some support near you. You're going to stand with your feet touching together. Now I want you to look 
you can either look straight ahead if you've got an object on the wall or something straight in front of you that you can focus on. So if I look straight ahead from me, I can see a piece of blue tack on my wall I can look at. If you haven't got anything, what you can do is hold your thumb up in front of you. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep your eyes focused on what you're looking at in front. They are not allowed to move. Your eyes stay still. Your head turns from side to side. It sounds easy, but trust me, keeping your eyes still and turning your head from side to side is difficult. This is strengthening your vestibular ocular reflex nerve. It's very important with optic neuritis, and we do know that individuals with MS get a lot of vestibular issues. So just, we'll just do level one together, and then I'll talk about what the next levels are in the next round. So, feet together, up nice and tall, looking at something straight in front of you. Doesn't matter if it goes a bit blurry, but don't let your eyes move. So keep your eyes still, move your head from side to side. It may very well make you feel a bit dizzy and a bit nauseous. That's okay. Keep those eyes still, move that head from side to side. Excellent, well done. So this time, you're gonna keep your eyes still, but what you're gonna do now is drop your chin down, and then chin up to the ceiling. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing, eyes staying still and focused on one target while the head moves. So it's all about trying to improve the ability of your eye-head coordination, and being able to separate those two movements, rather than your eyes and your head always doing it together. So 30 seconds, off we go. Eyes focus forward, chin up and down. Good, now some of you will find this easier. Some of you will find this more challenging regarding making it a bit more symptomatic different inner ear canals. Now for the third round, you can choose which one was more challenging for you. Was it side to side or up and down? If that was easy, you can have a go at trying to do this on one leg, which trust me is pretty challenging. I will let you know when we get to 15 seconds so you can swap legs. So you choose up and down or side to side, and if you want to progress, you can try one leg, okay? All right, so eyes forward, oh there you go, I've fallen over straight away trying to keep my eyes still and turn my head. Okay, it is very challenging. That's 15, so change legs if you were trying to do one leg standing. Excellent, we are on to your last exercise team and um, this one's a bit, of a, a bit of a tricky one. I always like to finish with something a bit on the challenging side. Mountain climbers, we've got a couple of different levels for this. Okay, trust me, 30 seconds seems very long. Okay, level one is on the ground, hands are underneath your shoulders. Knees are under your hips. So your arms aren't out here, guys. They're not in front of you, and you're not all the way past them. So your shoulders are right over your hands. So with this one, mountain climbers, you're going leg out, leg out. So toes are staying on the ground, and this is the first one. So this is the really easy one. Okay, so this is what you can drop back to if it gets difficult. Okay, level two. Okay, is actually you're going to start in this position and you're going to come and bring a knee underneath your shoulder, knee under your shoulder. So this is where you get to put your knee down. Okay, so this is level two. Okay, level three is you bring your toes underneath you. 
Okay? Level four is that you are going to jump it. And you can run it really fast. So lots of different levels because this is pretty challenging. Okay, so quickly again. Level one, legs around beneath you, alternate, taking it out. Level two, you're up in a full plank position, you're dropping a knee down. Level three is toes. Level four is a run. So it's our last three sets of 30 seconds. So really challenge yourself, guys. You can go with a higher level and drop down if you can't maintain it for the whole 30 seconds, as long as you're giving it a go. Okay? I can start with those who are at level three. Okay? So we're going toes up. This is level three. It's where I'd like a lot of you to try to start. Keep that weight over your hands. Make sure your elbows aren't blocking. Make sure there's a little bend in those elbows. That's 15 seconds. Keep that leg nice and straight at the back leg. Woo. Okay, so have a little rest. Just sit back on your heels if you can and just give those wrists a little turn. If you find going flat hands on your wrists are pretty sore on your wrists, you can go on your knuckles and keep your wrists straight. Okay? So, whichever one you started on, see if you can start on the next level up. Okay? So we're going in three, two, one. So level four for those trying to run it. Level three, you're attacking. Level two, you popped your knee down, okay? And level one, you were starting in four point knee length. Okay, let's see, keep it up. We've got 15 seconds to go. Can you go a little bit faster? Last 10, can you pop it into that little run? Good, we've got five to go. Okay, this time guys, pop your toes underneath you when you sit down. Okay, so we're sitting on our heels, but your toes are underneath you, so you're giving your arch of your foot and your big toe a really good stretch. A couple of deep breaths, 30 seconds goes pretty quick, and the recovery as well. This is your last round of today, okay? So everyone give it as much as you can. Let's go. Can you run it? Out the whole 30 seconds. Good, if you're running out of steam, can you keep the taps going? Can you keep level three, make sure those elbows aren't locked? If you run out of steam with the taps, go to the knee drops. Okay, and if not, four point with a straight leg. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Woo! Well done. We're gonna start again in that stretch where your toes are underneath you. Give everyone a big clap of round support. We're going to do a couple of stretches and then I will stop the record button and, and we can ask some questions. So just keeping those toes underneath you. Okay, let's take one arm across. Okay, give that shoulder a bit of a stretch out. You've just been given a bit of work. Good, take some nice deep breaths. Shake that out, swap hands. Lovely. Shake that out. Come and pick yourself up off the ground. Give everything a little bit of a, a shake out, arms and legs. Okay, just go back towards your chair because we'll use your chair just for some stability for some of your stretches. Okay, so we'll just start that calf stretch again. So nice big step back behind you. Bend your front leg. Make sure your back heel's on the ground. Shoulders back. Push those hips forward, hands gently on the chair. Okay, we're just pushing that south in there. Lovely. Shake that out, change legs. Good, try and get that heel down on that back leg. Oh. 
Lovely. Now you're going to try and see if you can take your heel or the back of your trousers, get hold of your ankle, and you're going to pull your ankle up towards your bottom. Try and keep your knees together, push your hips forward to stretch out your quads. This is stretching out the muscle in the front of the leg. We gave that a lot of work with the squats to start with. Fabulous, check that out, change legs. So squeeze your glutes, push your hips forward and try and squeeze your knees together here. Lovely, and then just a couple of forward bends. So take a nice big deep breath in, and then as you breathe out, just bend from the waist, bend your knees as needed, and how far down to the ground can you come? If you can't come very far, that's all fine. Keep your knees soft, guys, don't block your knees. Let your head drop. Take a nice deep breath, take the arms back up over your head. We'll do that once more. Breathe out. Give your legs a hug, give them a rub. Thank them very much for working for you. Thank your arms for working for you. Arms up, give yourself a pat on the back for turning up and doing your exercises. So well done, everyone. It was a pleasure to um, work with you. I'm just going to hit the um, stop the record button.